Hello guys, Dan here, and in today's video I'm going to be going over and talking to you about static pressure fans and also airflow fans. Now these do look similar and you're probably thinking fans are fans, but when it comes to static pressure and airflow fans, there's a lot that is different and if you're using a fan in kind of the wrong scenario, your cooling might kind of, you know, be decreased because of this. Now, the two types of fans I'm going to be talking about today are, well they're both Corsair fans, they're both the red LED versions. Now I've got the, the 120mm um, airflow fan and also an 120mm static pressure fan. Now I'm just going to go over some of the features of the fans and then going to tell you where's the best place to kind of use each fan. Now first of all we have the static pressure fan. As you can see on here the blades are quite large in terms of the, in terms of the blades are quite thick and then there isn't much of a gap between the blades. Now one thing to also mention with these fans is that if you look at the top there isn't much of a gap between the actual fan and also the chassis that kind of holds the whole unit together. And when this turns, it creates what's called static pressure, and then it kind of allows air to be pushed through um, places where air is kind of obstructed. So that's kind of the static pressure fan. Now moving on to the airflow fan. Now as you can see, this is kind of a lot different in terms of the fact that it has a lot more blades, but the blades are a lot thinner and the more kind of curved around. So when they spin, you're going to get a lot more air being pushed through. But these don't perform as well, say, if air is kind of obstructed and also one thing to mention with these is that the actual gap between the actual fan and the actual chassis is quite large and I, don't know if you, I don't know if you can see it but there's quite a big gap between and that's what allows these fans to be good at kind of pushing air now both of the fans uh, are used in different kind of scenarios and uh, yeah I'm just gonna tell you where's the best place to use each fan now the airflow fan is best to be used where air is not obstructed. So this is rather in an intake or an outtake for your case or somewhere, uh, you know, just just kind of best used as kind of a generic kind of case fan or where you just want air to move from one location to another. So these are best for rather intakes or outtakes. And that's really it, really. Now, the static pressure fans are used for where you need static pressure. So you're talking radiators, you're talking um, heat sinks for CPU coolers and stuff like that. So these fans are best used where air is obstructed. Now a lot of people will say these are better used for air stuff like the front of your case where you're pushing air through the front. You're going through kind of, you know, um, a dust filter, then you're trying to push the air through hard drives. Because a lot of people, including myself, I do have hard drives in the front of my case. So these fans probably would be good also as intakes if you've got hard drives in your case but that's kind of about it really you know these are kind of used for radiators and heat sinks and i i myself have actually bought these fans for the hyper 212 evo cpu cooler that i have because the one cooler that you um the one fan you got it is good but i, I do prefer to have red led fans and that kind of uh, fan that came with the hyper 212 evo that's kind of used has and goes off now so just to recap the two fans and yeah just so you guys do not get confused you have static pressure is this one here and then you have airflow static pressure is so where you have air that's obstructed and it and is best for heat sinks and radiators and then the airflow fan is good for intakes and also outtakes um where air is not going to be obstructed and air can easily pass from one side of the fan to the other but yet again static pressure fans are probably good if you have hard drives at the front of your case Anyway guys, that's the end of the video. Hope this has kind of helped you kind of know the difference between static pressure and airflow fans. And uh, yeah, if you have any more questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.